Welcome to Spreadsheet Solving. Today, we'd like to take a look at statistical functions. Now, what is that? Well, we've learned what a function is, which is a preset formula. And statistical will refer to statistics, which broadly is a way for us to understand data. It's a science used to be able to understand large sets of data. Now, today, we'd like to focus on three different ways we can calculate the average of a set of data. That would be the arithmetic mean, otherwise known as the average, the median, and the mode. So as a quick example, let's imagine that we have this set of data. It's a small set of data, but let's start from there so we understand the concepts first. So the data set includes 1, 2, 2, 4, and 5. The arithmetic mean is defined as the sum of this set of data. We can hover over these cells, and the sum is provided down below, which is 14. And we divide that sum by the total number of values in the set, which in this case is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we would take the 14, which we can do this way, and divide it by 5 or count the number here and this should be the arithmetic mean. Let's make sure we've done this correctly as we've seen the sum is 14 divided by 5. So this, if we look at the arithmetic mean, should equal 2.8. Let's put that in right here. Now the median, that is defined as the value of the term that's in the middle of the distribution set. So you must sort the distribution, so in this case it's, this is, has already been sorted for you, and you want to capture the middle number in that set, which in this case is 2. Now what if, you might be thinking, if we had an odd set. In other words, let's say we had a number 7 in there as well. In this case, it's not as clear cut what the middle number is because both 2 and 4 can be represented as the middle value. So in this case, if we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, an even number of values in a distribution, to calculate the median, you would need to take the arithmetic mean of the two middle numbers. So in that case, it would be 2 plus 4 divided by 2, which would be 3. Again, if we wanted to use formulas, you can sum these up and divide by the count. Finally, the mode, which is another method of calculating the average of a distribution, the mode is defined as the number that occurs the most number of times. So, in this case, in this example here, we see that 2 occurs the most number of times. It occurs twice. And so, again, like the median, the mode also happens to be 2. So now that we've kind of got a grasp of the concept of mean, median, and mode, we can see now that we can calculate this using preset functions, statistical functions, that has already been created by spreadsheets. Now, if we want to calculate the arithmetic mean, the formula we would use is average. Similarly, if we wanted to calculate the median, simple enough, it's median. And for mode, it is simply mode. So let's take a look how this would work. If we calculate the formula here, and we make sure we reference the range of cells that represent our distribution, close paren, that's 3.5. Now, keep in mind, in our example, we only used 1 through 5. So let's make sure we keep the same example here. And in this case, we'll adjust our range so that it captures the same example that we've calculated on our own. So 2.8, the median. is 2, and the mode is also 2. So great, 
Now we see that these formulas enable you to calculate the average, the arithmetic mean, the median, and the mode quite simply. All you've got to do is enter in the right function and make sure you capture the proper range of cells that would represent your sample. Now that we understand the concepts of mean, median, and mode, let's calculate what the average, median, and mode gross sales are for the top 100 grossing movies of 2012. So, to calculate what the average gross sales is, we start with an equal sign here, followed by the function name average. And the data set would include the gross sales for all of the 100 top grossing movies. So once we have this range highlighted, we can use the close parentheses, and we found the answer, which is approximately 82.7 million is the average grossing sales of one of the top 100 ranked movies. Now what is the median? Again, we can apply the function name, which is median, and we use the same range. And what we find is that the median grossing sales is about 53.9 million. Now mode, as you recall, is a number that occurs more than once. And we do this, we can calculate this by using the function name mode. And again, we use the same data range, which represents the argument of mode. And what we find is that there is no mode that exists, which makes sense because what are the odds of having two movies have the exact same total grossing sales. So appropriately, uh, the answer is none exists, so uh, an error comes up. Again, these three functions are all measures of the average or the central tendency of a distribution. We'll see you next time.